Today I'm going to teach you seven facts needed to graph a function by hand. So if you're ready to learn this, please join me in the simultaneous sit. Number one, the domain. The domain is the set of values that you can plug in for x. Careful though, you don't want to divide by zero or take the square root of a negative number. Number two, the x and y intercepts. Find where the curve smashes the x and y axes. And while you're at it, smash that like button and subscribe. Number three, symmetry. Check if your function is even, odd, periodic, or none of these. This is quick and easy and will save you time in the long run. Number four, asymptotes. You thought we were done with limits, and boy were you wrong. Use limits to find the end behavior. And don't forget to check yourself before you wreck yourself at the discontinuities. Number five, intervals of increase or decrease. It's time to take the derivative and find the critical numbers. Positive derivative means increasing functions. Negative derivative means decreasing. Wild, and that reminds me, it's time to increase the number of views on this video by sharing on social media. Number six, local max and local min. Like calculus, our function has its high points and low points. The first derivative test will tell us if a critical number is a max or a min. If you're up for a challenge, try using the second derivative test. Number seven, concavity and points of inflection. Two derivatives means double the fun. Use the concavity test to find where the function is concave upwards or concave downwards. Don't forget to find those pesky inflection points too. Only one thing left. Now it's time to put it all together and sketch yourself a beautiful graph. Make sure to comment below to tell me what your favorite of the seven is. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.